Well, if you tuned into this video, hopefully you realize it's in a series that takes us through all kinds of kicks and teaches us all kinds of kicks so that by the end of the summer, we can be a true kicker like nobody's business being ready for any kicks uh, that ever might seem, seem cool to do. I do a lot of tutorials on this channel, and so I figured why not take advantage of the summer and give you guys something to practice that you could practice every single week that would teach you from never kicking ever to becoming a pro kicker and being able to do anything at a moment's notice. And if I said this wasn't slightly inspired by Phineas and Ferb, I would be lying. However, today we're going to be going over one of my favorite self-defense kicks or kicks to use in self-defense, and that is the side kick. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing Avery Design a Super Royal hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now I did find a nice new area. I'm trying to just bounce around, find do, new cool spots to record each of these videos so it doesn't get too samey. Um, but if you wanna see all of the series that I have for you guys, make sure, one, to subscribe and hit the bell so you can see when the, and, and get notified when I actually post the next video in this tutorial series throughout the summer. And if you wanna get them all right now, you can, because I've recorded all of these a lot earlier than when they're releasing. So ideally you could just, you know, become a member and get access to all of them immediately. I mean, you could even pay just like, I think it's $3, $2, something like that. And again, get, get access to all of them immediately it's great so consider that if you would like to but either way we're going to get into our side kick now just like before we're going to get into that guard stance with our feet wider than our shoulders one foot back one foot in front that gives us a solid base now this kick requires some preparation with our other foot we will still be kicking with our back leg however with our front leg we're actually going to turn our toes sideways towards the outside of our body this will allow us to open up and be able to turn sideways when we do what's called our preparation now turning our foot completely sideways and then taking our back leg lifting the knee up and over just like so having your toes pulled up and you don't want your ankle back by your knee you want it out in front of your knee just like so and re in reality if your ankles out by your knee then you end up kicking with your toes and no one likes breaking your toes I've done it way too many times trust me it's not something you like unless you know you're weird in which case you do you I'm I'm only a YouTube guy but back to our guard stance with our feet apart turning that front foot lifting it up and keeping our toes out. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna slightly extend your hip out as you push the bottom of your foot towards your target. It's very important that we hit with the bottom of our foot for a side kick. Again, we just turned our foot, lifted up. I'm gonna turn so you guys can see it a little bit differently, but we're gonna push our hips out as we kick our side kick straight out just like that now obviously you can go for the head you can go for the knee it doesn't really matter where your target is as long as you do the technique correctly like i said to all of my students if you kick to the face or someone's knee both can do incredible damage as long as you do it correctly and honestly i'd rather get kicked in the face than have my knee broken that's just me though but coming from the side going all the way through it turning our foot sideways lifting our knee up kicking side out pulling it back and sagging down. And there we have our side kick all the way through. But just like last time, I wanted to add some uh, little variations in there just to give you guys some of the practice if you are a little bit more advanced. The first being our jumping side kick and the second being our flying side kick. Flying side kicks usually having momentum and jumping side kicks just jumping straight up and kicking in the air. So for our jumping side kick, which is significantly easier, all we're gonna do is we're, instead of just turning our front foot, we're actually gonna step and turn our front foot. Step and turn, and that's all at once. Step and turn, just like so. Then our back leg's going to lift that knee up just like before, except as we lift our knee up, we wanna get used to launching ourselves in the air. Again, if I face you, step and turn, lift up, just like that. One more time, I'll do it facing this way. Step and turn, lift up. 
just like so. From there, it's pretty straightforward. We just extend our kick and land on our bottom foot. Again, in our guard stance, step and turn, lift up and kick out. When I do it full speed, it'll look something like that. Now, for our flying side kick, this is what you see people do when they jump over people and end up doing a side kick. And it works in a very similar way. Really, the only difference is momentum. So I'm gonna start way back here, just so we can get some momentum. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your last step is the opposite of your kicking leg. So for, my, for me, I've been kicking with my right leg, so I need to make sure my last step is the opposite, my left leg. So again, whether you take one, two steps, or one, two, three steps, whatever it is, your last step has to be with the non-kicking leg. From here, it works the same purpose. Our leg comes up, we jump, and we kick. However, we don't stop the momentum. As we do it, one, two, three, and we fire our kick and keep the momentum going into our target. And it'll end up looking something like this. And we travel a much greater distance, allowing us to, to close in on our target or jump over people before we kick a board and break it. Anything, anything like that would work perfectly. <clears throat> I've literally brought in like audience members from like uh, talent shows to sit on their, on, their, on, their, on their butts and then me run up, jump over them, kick a board at the end and it goes crazy. The crowd goes wild, people love it. And so if you're looking for something cool to spice up your talent show, this is perfect. But that's the sidekick for you. And if you wanna see the rest of the kicks coming up, make sure to drop a like on the video so that I know you like this series. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I mean, share, share it around because if you share this around, it really helped me be more encouraged to make this kind of series next summer or even just like another course for you guys coming soon. Either way, I will see you guys in the next video because my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. Baby, perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper, as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career, be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...